Whenever we're in the neighborhood, we like to stop by Finish Line Performance in Naperville, Illinois. Today, we're interested in the 2010 Twin Turbo Camaro project. Dan, tell me about this car. Uh, this is, uh, as you said, it's our 2010 Camaro. We did a uh, twin turbo setup on it. It's also a Nikki car. Uh, so it has most of the Nikki wheels, tires, all the striping and badging is all for Nikki. Uh, and we are doing, as we said, the twin turbo setups for those cars. Now, Nikki Chevrolet was a, a Chevy dealer in Chicago that did a lot of bolt on, high performance versions of, of muscle cars back in the day. And now we're seeing the Nikki name on the new car. Right. So what does that come with? What does it get you? Uh, it can get you uh, lots of things. They have uh, stage one, stage two, and stage three packages. Uh, stage one is just basic cosmetic stuff where they do wheels, tires, striping, uh, interior, and Nikki badges on it. Uh, stage two is a performance mod where they'll give you a supercharger or uh, a heads and cam package. They also have a stage three, which is a 427 engine, which is what Nikki was known for back in the day. And the stage three twin turbo, which is what we have here which is what we build for them. So this car being a twin turbo, let, let's talk about the parts that are in this thing. Okay. This starts off as what, like a 6.2 liter aluminum motor? Correct, it's an LS3. Mm -hmm. um, what we do to it then is build a twin turbo setup. It's all stainless steel exhaust. We do all the custom piping for it. It has a bell intercooler, precision turbos, precision wastegates. Well, what I thought was neat about it is you open the hood, it almost looks like uh, you know if GM was gonna do a twin turbo car, it looks like it belongs. Well, that's. That's what we tried, the look we were going for, especially with the Nikki car, because it's supposed to be a factory type upgrade. So we wanted it to look as factory as possible. Uh, even with the LS3 package, do we know what kind of power we're talking about? Yeah, this, boost levels? Yeah, and... this car still makes a 600 at the tires, torque and horsepower, at about nine pounds of boost. Wow. And uh, how happy is an LS3 with nine pounds? Uh, it'll run forever that way. Nine pounds is a pretty safe level. We've run them as much as 12. Wow. And uh, what are the expectations then with the 427? Uh, once we get the 427 in it, I'm hoping to make in the 12, 1300 range at the tires. At the wheels, 12 or 1300. That's correct. All right, all right. So what other modifications are we talking about with the driveline to withstand all that? Uh, the driveline, we've got uh, dual disc ram clutch in it. It has uh, upgraded axles, all the suspension stuff from spawn in the back and subframe connectors, it's got a drive shaft safety loop change the shifter out, you know, just all your basic bolt-on suspension stuff that we did to it. You expect that center section to stay alive? Uh, so far, the center sections have held up on them. It's been the axles that people have been having problems with. Mm -hmm. And then I'm assuming this, this little taper is the weak link in the axle? That's correct. The taper on the end here, you can see where it tapers down, and that's where they break it. The new axle is solid straight across. Keep us posted on when the 427's in. Maybe we'll get to take the car to the track or on the street or something and go burn it up. But uh, in the meantime, if you see one of these cars with the Nikki name on the hockey stripe, uh, chances are it's not just a stripe. That's correct.